This is Rob Curto here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. Welcome back to my video series on Brazilian music and groove creation for the accordion. In our last lesson, we learned the first two sections of a classic Brazilian fajo tune, Rosetta do Norte, and then played it with our left hand fajo pattern. <laughs> This week our objective is to learn the C and D sections, which sound like this. Remember that Brazilian music is almost always felt in 2-4 time. So we have two beats per measure, and each beat is divided up into four sixteenth notes as follows. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a... Now let's learn the C section melody. The C section begins with the following hand position. Fingers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on B, C, D, E, and F. When we get to the E natural, we'll modify our hand position so that our fifth finger is on the E and the other fingers are now on the A, B, C, D, and E. Then we'll finish the phrase with four sixteenth notes alternating between two Gs in octaves. It looks and sounds like this. One, two, Then we'll play the whole thing another time, this time ending with a low G quarter note and two eighth notes. This sets up another whole repeat of the C section. Notice that we'll use our fourth finger on the C to get down to the G. Now the whole thing with the repeat sounds like this. One E and a two E and a one, two. Now let's add the left hand accompaniment to the C section. Remember our fajo accompaniment pattern. It starts with the bass note for 1 16th note, then the chord for 2 16ths, and the alternating bass for 1 16th, ending in two eighth notes on the chord. It sounds like this. One E and a two E and a one. <laughs> Our chord progression for the C section is going to be one measure of C, one measure of G, one measure of D7, back to one measure of G. It looks and sounds like this. That progression is going to repeat four times. Here's the whole C section with both hands.
Now let's learn the D section of the tune and we'll have completed it. To begin the D section, we'll use the following hand position. Our third and second fingers are on the E and D, and our thumb will alternate between the A and B natural three times. The fourth time, we'll play our pattern using the A, and then finish up with C, B, G, running up an arpeggiated G major chord, and setting us up to repeat the whole thing one more time. Notice that our E and D begin as a pickup on the 3rd and 4th 16th notes of the 2nd beat. So that sounds like 1 E and a, 2 E and a. The left hand for the D section is just a constant repetition of the D7 to G as follows. Together with the right hand, it goes like this, one E and a two E. Congratulations on learning to play the complete tune Hosera do Norte, a forró from the northeast of Brazil. Stay tuned for our next video lesson where we'll explore how to improvise in the forró style. Here's the entire tune one more time with the full accompaniment. One, two. <laughs>